Hey guys, welcome back to Yoga with Leona, your site for everything about yoga and breast cancer recovery. I thought I'd do something a little different today and show you a new version of sun salutation that I learned using a yoga stick. So I actually don't have a yoga stick, but I just found a little broom handle, unscrewed that baby right out of the broom, and this thing is working fine. Um, if it turns out that you really like these sort of stretches and you want to get yourself a yoga stick, you can buy them online or apparently, uh, as my friend and teacher Willis, who taught me these uh, exercises, says, you can just go down to Home Depot and have them cut you uh, a length of a round wooden dowel and it works just fine. So as you can see, my yoga stick is maybe about four feet long. And for me, it really probably ought to be a little bit longer than that. You can see it's not quite as long as my uh, wingspan. Uh, it'll do just fine for these purposes. But if you're going to go and get yourself a length cut, it might be good to get it a little longer. Maybe like five feet long would be ideal. But uh, yeah, so I saw my friend Willis, who's a phenomenal teacher here in Puerto Vallarta, um, doing some exercises, including the sun salutation with a yoga stick. And I thought, wow, that's amazing. That'd be a perfect stretch for me and all of my friends who have tightness across our chest from our breast cancer treatment. So I'm going to show you, we'll, we'll just do a few stretches to kind of warm up our body using the yoga stick. And then I'll show you the same thing with the strap. So if you don't have a yoga stick, you can do it with a strap as well. But it's, uh, it has a different feel with the stick and I think it really stretches nicely. So let's go ahead and get started. So if you've got your, if you pause the video and went and grabbed, you know, the, uh, the handle to a broom, Go ahead and take that nice and wide in your hands. You're just going to stretch your arms up above your head. And maybe you stretch the arms a little behind you. Just starting to open the chest and shoulders. And remember, you can modify this in any way you need. If you need to bend the arms a little bit, or maybe your chest doesn't quite stretch that deeply, you know, be gentle and just take it where you are. So that goes for all the stretches we're going to do today. Take the modification that you need to make it amenable to you. But if it's feeling good, maybe you stretch the arms up and back a couple more times and start to feel your heart shining up to the sky, your back arching a little bit as those shoulders open. Then maybe you bend one arm just like we do with a strap. We just kind of stretch with a strap all the time. You bend one arm, bring them down behind, bend the other arm, bring them down behind and just noticing you know, how that feels to each shoulder, and probably they're a little asymmetric if you're anything like me. All right, good. And then let's bring this uh, stick up onto our shoulders, and you can kind of rest your arms over the stick. You can take some gentle twisting. Be quite gentle with this, especially if you have osteoporosis or any weakening of your bones. You never want to torque your spine with a lot of force, so just gently twisting. And maybe on one side, stop and stay a moment. Feel that twist, go the other way, stay a moment, and then come on back to center, and then I'm going to put the stick underneath my elbows and around my back, and it just feels like a really nice sort of lever to give you a little bit of a back bend here, so you can again shine your heart up, maybe pull that stick into your back, maybe you stick the hips forward and get a little back bend out of it. You can kind of explore with rolling the stick higher in your back to get a little more upper back, or you can move it lower in the back to get a little more lower back. So you can just fiddle around with that. And then the last sort of intro stretch is basically cow face arms, which I've taught you with a strap before, but we can do it with a stick too. So you take the stick in one hand, bring it round behind your back, and then thumb pointing down, you reach behind you and grab the stick. I'll turn around so you can see that. And you shimmy those hands as close together as you can, and then peel those elbows nice and open. The cool thing about this stick here is it kind of presses against the back of your head and against the back of your tailbone and helps keep you from collapsing forward, which happens when we do this with the strap sometimes. So a really great shoulder stretch here. We'll switch the hands. So take the stick into your other hand. Bring it round behind. Thumb points down, reach behind your back. And again, notice one side usually more flexible than the other. Feel those elbows pull back as the stick presses against the back of your head and you keep your spine nice and tall. 
All right, awesome. Go ahead and let that go. Let's go ahead and make our way to the front of the mat and we'll practice these sun salutations. So you know how I love sun salutations. They really can be a standalone practice. You don't have to do a whole hour long practice to get in a nice stretch, a little mindful movement um, to start your day. So I love this one and uh, I hope you will too. So let's come to the front of our mat. This one is gonna require a little weight into the arms. So it's gonna be a little bit of plank and a little bit of downward facing dog. So just make sure that you're okay with that before you start and try this one. Let me show it to you with the stick first, and then I'll show you one with the strap, and then we'll do a couple more with the stick. So depending on which one works best for you. So this is sun salutation C, or a modification of sun salutation C. So you're gonna cross your thumbs in front of you. You're gonna inhale, stretch the arms up, maybe a gentle back bend at the top. And then we exhale, fold forward. It's okay if you have to bend your knees here. And then you're going to step your right foot far behind as you grab the stick. And you're going to stretch the stick up and maybe all the way around behind you. So you'll see I took my hands nice and wide. Maybe your arms don't go that far back and you just come to here. But if you can, you come all the way down. And then all the way back up. Place the stick back. Plant your hands. Downward facing dog. Inhale forward to a plank. Exhale, knees, chest and chin on the floor. Your butt's nice and high. Exhale, slide forward, cobra. And then downward facing dog. And then we step the right foot forward again. Grab your stick once again. Stretch up and come as far back as works for you. Exhale, the stick back to the front. Plant your hands. Step forward. Cross your thumbs. Come up. And we exhale right back into the left side, plant your hands. Step the left foot far behind, grab your stick, inhale up. Remember, you don't have to go all the way around if you don't want to. Plant your hands, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, knees, chest and chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot forward, grab the stick, stretch. Exhale, put the stick back to its place, step forward, and inhale, come up. Exhale to your heart. All right, awesome. Let me show it to you with the strap. In case you don't have a stick today, I'll show it to you with the strap. If you're using your stick, you can just keep doing it that way as we practice. Cross those thumbs. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Right foot steps far behind. Grab your strap. Stretch up and back. See, it's basically the same thing. Exhale, back to place and downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Knees, chest and chin. Cobra. Downward facing dog. Right foot steps forward. Inhale, stretch up. Shine your heart to the sky. Exhale, come to the front and step forward. Cross those thumbs, extend. Exhale, fold. Left foot steps back. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, back to the front and downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Knees, chest and chin. Cobra. Downward facing dog. Left foot forward. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, back to the front. Cross your thumbs and come up. And exhale, hands to your heart. Awesome. So as you can see, you can do it with a strap or the stick. And as you're probably starting to feel, this one's really a pretty vigorous uh, sun salutation. So you're going to get a little aerobic exercise out of it as well. And you, as I said, you can do it pretty quickly. So just maybe like five, 10 minutes in the morning, a little warm up stretch, and then a few minutes of this sun cell, and it's great. So I'm gonna do three more sets on each side with the stick. You can go ahead and join me if you like. Here we go. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, forward fold. Right foot steps back. Inhale, stretch up and back. Exhale, the stick back to place. Downward facing dog. 
Inhale, plank. Knees, chest, and chin. Cobra. Downward facing dog. Right foot steps forward. Grab your stick. Exhale back to place. Step the feet to meet. Cross your thumbs and come up. Exhale, forward fold. Left foot back. Grab your stick, inhale. Exhale the stick to place. Downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Knees, chest, and chin. Cobra. Downward facing dog. Left foot steps forward. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, step forward. Cross your thumbs and come up. Let's keep going. Exhale, forward fold. Right foot steps back. Stretch. Exhale to place. Downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Knees, chest and chin. Cobra. Downward facing dog. Right foot steps forward. Inhale, stretch. Exhale to place, step forward, cross your thumbs, come up. Exhale back to the floor, left foot steps back, inhale, stretch. Exhale to place, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank, knees, chest and chin. Cobra, downward facing dog. Left foot forward, inhale, stretch, exhale to the front, step forward, and come up. One more on each side, you're on your own. Moving and breathing, stretching, connecting to yourself, to your body, to your strength, to your resilience, knowing that wherever you are today is right where you're supposed to be. Stretching just to your limit, to your comfortable range of motion. Inhale, stretch, exhale. Good. Coming back to the top, stopping to breathe, maybe closing the eyes, tuning in to the sensations that you feel in your shoulders, in your chest, in your arms, maybe pressing those thumbs into your heart, feeling that heartbeat, again, feeling your strength. If you worked up a little sweat and a little energy like I just did, maybe coming down to the floor and taking a little savasana to let yourself relax and recharge. You can see the sweat pouring off my face. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I really like that one. So remember, you don't have to do a full hour long practice to get the good out of your yoga. You can just take like 10 minutes, do a little gentle stretching, some sun salutations, and there you have it. All right. Hope you have an awesome day. Let me know if you have any questions. Take care. Namaste.